Hey guys, I'm back on board. So I'm currently down in lower Manhattan. I'm the lowest in Manhattan that I've actually ventured so far. Um, generally I haven't come this far down. I'll actually spin the camera around so everyone can see. I generally haven't come this far down just because it's time consuming, costs money, and uh, there was no need to come down here and just not enough time between training sessions, but it's actually really cool. So it's kind of, uh, this is Mott, Mott Street, M-O-T-T, -T, if anyone wants to look it up. This is um, sort of Soho, Little Italy kind of area. It's really cool that each different village you kind of move through in Manhattan has a totally different feel to it and a different vibe and a different um, architecture. It's, it's actually really cool. Um, the reason I came down here actually is there's a coffee shop. Where, where'd it go? I might have walked down a bit too far. Um, just back up the road there called Two Hands and it's actually run by Australians. I was recommended it by a few people so I came down to try and get some decent coffee and food and uh, it didn't, didn't disappoint. So any Aussies that are coming to New York and you finally get sick of all the rubbish food and just want some bacon and eggs on toast and some good coffee, Two Hands is your place to go but uh yeah so from midtown it cost me like 20 bucks in a taxi which in australian dollars 20 20 american dollars is basically a uh, mortgage repayment so it did cost to uh to get down here but i'm um, happy i did it's yeah it's a cool little cool little spot so sorry i didn't touch in with everyone yesterday yesterday was um yesterday was actually quite a session it was the fourth of july so it's uh, apparently the Americans are, are very into that day. It's a special day here. So um, there was only one training session on. Danaher still ran his session, and he actually, it was pretty cool. He actually gave a talk at the end of class. He brought everyone in. He said, you know, good, good job, good job training, guys. It's, you know, you could have just been, been lazy, basically, and taking that off, but you came in and trained. And he said, what you need to realise, a lot of you guys here are trying to compete on the professional stage, and a lot of your competitors are international and they don't care about the 4th of July they're going to be training so uh, you don't get a day off if they're not taking a day off so it's actually quite a quite a cool little um concept that he was running with there and it, it makes sense you know like back at home we'd all still be training it doesn't really really mean a lot um yeah so it was one session it was it was definitely a little bit quieter less of the squad guys there Nikki was there um Gordon was there had a bit of a chat with Gordon he's recovering okay he's just kind of still going light on his knee but he's definitely like rolling just nothing too too wild not doing too much crazy leg stuff um yeah so yeah definitely quite a session yesterday and i needed that after the first the first five days basically i've just been sprinting pretty much with the workload and it's it was getting a bit much when i checked in with you last it was like 10 o'clock i was at a train station in long island and um struggling struggling big time so last night was actually the first night i got got about nine hours sleep and i really feel good today for it so i'm hoping going forward from here i'm kind of going to be able to perform even even better and um keep gathering as much information as i can to bring home but yeah just just being in the room consistently over and over with these good guys it's and it's not so much what you got to remember is it's not so much learning that specific technique for the day because that's just one or two techniques you learn but it's more so the afterwards sitting around and chatting about you know oh, what, what, are the, what do you like to do here oh, I see you were countering me with this and that's how you kind of build um, you know greater understanding rather than just uh, you know whatever technique it is you learn in that particular session I'm actually trying to make my way back to the train station so I have no idea where I'm going at the moment I'll keep walking up here. Um, so today's going to be the same thing because it's a kind of long weekend here. It's Friday. Uh, the, a lot of the Americans are kind of taking the day off. But um, Danaher's going to run a lunchtime session again. So I'm going to catch the train back uptown now and uh, get some training in. And that will, be, uh, that will be it for today. So I might actually get a chance to kind of do... Um, some touristy stuff this afternoon have a little bit of a wander around and then um, tomorrow we'll be back out at Long Island with Jason Rao and all those monsters and getting back to work so everything's everything's going good I hope everyone's good back at home I know it's cold it's uh it's bloody hot and humid here so 
it's uh, it's definitely a bit of a bit of a change from everyone back at home. But enjoy the cold. I'd I'd rather be there in the cold than here in this in this heat. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Catches. Bye.